Hey, what's going on everyone? Greg here and I wanted to make this video because Apple just released the ECG feature, the electrocardiogram for the Apple Watch. So what this ECG feature does is it tries to look for an irregular heart rhythm. Apple is saying that this is close to a single pad ECG test. And apparently if you're going to a doctor and they're running a full monitoring situation on you, they might hook up to like 10 different pads along your body. So this isn't necessarily a complete replacement for this. In fact, if you're going through the setup for this, you'll see a lot of warnings saying that this can't replace a doctor, that you might need a more complex test, but it might be able to help in situations where if you're monitoring your heart regularly, you might not have to go to the doctor as often. Maybe you could go by with just using this Apple Watch test to see if there's a problem. And then if there is a problem, then you go to the doctor and get a more complete test. But I'm no medical expert. And in my review of the Apple Watch, I mentioned that these features weren't available yet. And that if you were looking forward to these features, maybe you shouldn't purchase the Apple Watch until these features actually came out. And now that they're out, I wanted to do a mini video on the feature just to kind of show you how it works. And again, as as a tech reviewer, it's kind of hard for me to really go over this product because I'm not a medical expert. So what I'm showing you isn't in my expertise. I really can't make sense of the data that it's giving me, but I figured I would just show it off anyway. So after you update your Apple Watch to the latest watchOS version, you'll see that you have a new icon on the bottom of the Apple Watch. This is the new ECG app. All you have to do is click on it and you'll see these dots start to form a pattern of a heart. What you wanna do is hold your finger on the digital crown. Now this is a bit of a process. You're gonna wanna hold your finger down for a full 30 seconds. So you're supposed to stay pretty much completely still while you're doing this test. So Apple recommends that you sit down, maybe put your arm down on a table or at best put your arm down on a lap and try not to make too much movement. Apparently if you make too much movement, it'll mess up the test and it won't be able to read your results correctly. And you can see the measurement for the ECG as it's taking your reading. And you can also see the beats per minute of your heart rate in the top left corner. Apple also puts a disclaimer that the Apple watch does not check for heart attacks, just for irregular heartbeats. You'll also want to make sure the Apple watch is pretty tight on your wrist as you take this measurement as well. Well, when you're done with the test, you can see your results. For me, it was an average sinus rhythm. And what that means from the information panel I could see is that the heart is beating in sync. So the upper and lower chambers of your heart are beating in sync. There's no irregular heartbeat rhythm. And you can see in my test that the ECG does not show signs of atrial fibrillation. If you scroll down to the bottom, you can also see that you can add symptoms. So if you have a rapid pounding or fluttering heartbeat, a skipped heartbeat, fatigue, shortness of breath, chest tightness or pain, fainting, dizziness or other, or even none. And this is basically so you can show it to your doctor so they can make sense of it. Because if you're not trained in a medical profession, you're just going to see a chart with a heart rhythm and you're not really going to be able to make sense of it. But for the most part, the Apple Watch is telling me that my heart rate is operating in a normal capacity. And you can see the chart with your heartbeat if you've ever seen a medical show where the heart's going up and down and that beeping sound, that's kind of what you're seeing there. This is such an important feature to the Apple Watch. And again, it's not a complete replacement for a doctor or even a complete replacement for an ECG test. And this is a feature that might not even be beneficial to you, but there are people who do have irregular heartbeats there are people who need to see doctors often, and maybe this can replace a few expensive doctor visits. They can do a heart measurement in their own home. Currently, we're in the very, very early stages of this technology being available to a wide range of customers, but it is very exciting to see these kind of health features make its way to the Apple Watch. And I just wanted to make this video to just show you that it's now available. So if you are waiting for that feature, you can go out and buy the Apple Watch. Okay guys, thanks for watching this video. I'm sorry I really couldn't talk too much in an expert manner on this. Again, like I said, you really need a doctor to make sense of this. But I did wanna make this video for my audience, especially people interested in the Apple Watch, just to give you that update to let you know that this feature is now available. So if you are someone with an irregular heartbeat, if you were interested in that ECG feature for your health, it is now available. But yeah, I really can't make too much sense of it other than giving you the basics. Okay everyone, if you liked the video, make sure you give it a like. If you wanna see more from my channel, make sure you're subscribed. And as always, guys, I will see you all in the next video. Take care, everyone.